Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to take backup of EBS volume and restore it with increased size of EBS volume. Okay, so this was one of the video requested by our subscriber Alex. So thanks Alex for suggesting this video. So we are doing this video dedicatedly for you. All right, so hope you learn from this one. To accomplish this, we have five important steps. Not worry, I will include all the steps in the description. So what we'll do is we'll go step by step and see how we can do this activity. All right. So to begin with, what shall we do is let us log into this server and add some data inside it. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll have already connected to this EC2 server EC2 using instance connect method. And I've also added one of the file CAD uh, with the name test.txt. And if you want to see what is there inside that file, this is the one that I've added. Hi everyone, this volume is uh, created by taking the snapshot of server e EBS and then create new volume out of the snapshot and then attach it to the backup server. So this is what I've added in this particular file. So when we take the backup and when we attach it to the new EC2 instance or the backup EC2 instance, you should also see this file in this particular directory. Right. So for doing this, what uh, what let, let us do one more thing. First, let us get the volume details of both server and the backup server. So how to get that? So select the server and go to storage. So if you see, this is the volume ID and this is the device name. So let me copy all these three. So volume ID, device name and volume size and add it to a notepad here. Okay, so this is server volume details. So I've added that here in the server volume details. So similarly, we need to do the same thing for backup server also. So let me copy the storage information. Let me copy this one. So let me copy this device name, everything I, I've copied and paste it in the notepad. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do, so let us go to the step one now. So we are following this step now. So what we have done so far is just adding some data into server. So to just to verify if it is working fine or not. So now the first step is to take snapshot of the server EC2 instance. Okay, so let us take that first. Let us take the snapshot of this server EC2 instance. Okay, so uh, how to do that? So we have we need to go to the volumes. I've opened that in the new tab. So under volumes, you need to look for the volume that is attached with the server. Okay, so if you see attached instances, the first one is attached with the server, right? So this is the instance details, 8DC7. So let us verify here again. So this is volume, so we do not have it here. So if you go back here, ADC7, it is attached. Okay, so we need to take the snapshot of this EBS server. Okay, so let me select that actions, create snapshot. Okay, so you need to give a valid description. So what description you will give? So I've also added that here. So let me copy paste just to save some time. I've just uh, named all of them. So description is snapshot EBS server. So I'm taking a snapshot of EBS server. So I have men mentioned like that. I will also add the same thing in the tag. Okay, so name tag and the snapshot EBS server. So let me create the snapshot. How to verify where to check the snapshot. So here under EBS, you have something called a snapshots. Open that in the new tab. So let me refresh. So this is the snapshot that we just took, right? Server EBS, uh, sorry, snapshot EBS server, right? So it is still in pending state. It will take some time to be in available state or complete state, okay? So let me hit refresh again. Now, if you see the snapshot has been taken successfully and it is available, right? So now let us go back and see what is the next step. Okay, so let me go back here. So the second step is to create new EBS volume with the increased size 
which with the snapshot that we took in the first step okay so we need to create a new ebs volume out of the snapshot that we have taken and increase the volume size basically okay so let me select the snapshot go to action here the first option is to create volume from the snapshot so select that and if you see right now volume type is uh, this one snapshot id and size here so by default so all the volumes that you have seen here so it will have 8 gb and the snapshot is also having 8 gb but if you want to increase we can do that okay so before doing that let us check in the first server so what is the e volume that is attached okay so to do that run df hyphen h okay so if you see right now this is the only volume that is attached which is of 8 gigs right so now let us go back here and let us go back and increase the size of this volume okay so i'll increase it to 20 okay and availability zone you need to make sure that the server backup server availability zone is equivalent to your new ebs volume that you are creating so it is in us east 1a so i'll go ahead and select the same thing okay so if you want uh, you can encrypt this and you can also add a tag so let me add a name tag here i'll just say name and value i will i've already named this i will copy that and paste it here all right so now let me create volume okay so now two steps are been done so the first step is to take snapshot second one is to create the volume out of the snapshot that we have taken so the third step is to stop the backup server and detach the ebs volume attached okay so let us execute the third step now let us go back go back to the console and stop the backup server okay so let me go back to the console so this is the backup server so i just need to stop this because if you want to detach the volume the root volume that is attached if you try and detach it so let us try that also if you go to volume and this is the volume that is attached this is the root volume if i select that and click on detach volume you will get an error because you will not be able to detach the root volume right so that is why you need to first stop the backup server so let me go back to the instance again first let me stop the backup server so instance state click on stop okay so it will take some time to get completely stopped now if you see the instance state of backup server is in stopped state all right so the next thing that we need to do is to detach the volume that is attached with the backup server okay so let me go back to volume and let us hit refresh and check if the new ebs volume that we took out of the snapshot is created or not so if you see this is the one that we created which is of 20 gb okay so now let us do the next step that is to remove or detach the ebs volume that is attached with the backup server okay so let me do that let me select the uh, corresponding volume and go to actions and here if you see detach volume click on detach volume now you will be able to detach the volume previously we were getting an error because the instant was still running but right now we have stopped that instance and we will be able to detach the volume okay so let us see what is the next step okay so the next step is to attach the new ebs volume that we created in step 2 to the backup server okay so let us do this fourth step that is to attach this ebs server snapshot volume to the backup server so how to do that select that ebs volume click on actions if you see you have an option to attach volume select that and you need to make sure that you are in the same availability zone and go to instance if you see you will see the second ec2 instance or the backup server which is in stopped state select that one and device name you need to make sure you give the 
write the device name so if you see so firstly backup server had this volume with this device name right now we are adding another EBS volume which we had taken from the snapshot of server you need to make sure it also have the same device name so let me copy the device name and paste it here okay so this is the device name and click on attach volume now let us verify if it is attached or not and this EBS backup server should be in available state whereas server snapshot should be in use state okay so let us see that see now it is in available state and this one is in use state okay so this completes fourth step so the last step is to start the backup server okay so let me go back here go back to EC2 console and start this backup server so let me select instant state and click on start okay so this will take two or three minutes to start now if you see the backup server is up and running and the status check is also passed okay so how to verify whether we have attached this snapshot uh, the EBS volume that we have taken from the snapshot so to do that go to storage and here just just see the or check the volume id so it is ending with d8 e1 right so let us go and look into the volumes that we have so if you see d8 e1 it is matching with the d8 e1 attached with a backup server right so this is the ebs snapshot basically this is the ebs volume that we have created out of the snapshot that we took for the server okay so now let us do one more thing let us also verify if all the data that we had is copied to this server or not okay so how to check that so first log into this backup server using ec2 instance connect okay so let me log into this ec2 so it will take some time to log in okay so i've logged in so i'll just become a root user so that is where i've stored the de wall details or the files okay so let me go and uh, go to the root here let me do ls hyphen lrt and if you see here this is where i've added the file so now open the file or let me show what is there inside that file okay so this is just another confirmation if 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 you see this message we added this in the previous server or the server ebs volume now if you see this is attached with the second server or the backup server and let us also check one more thing which is really important whether we are increasing the size or not so how to check df hyphen h so we have attached 20 gb of storage or the ebs volume if you see we have 20 gb so but if you see the previous thing for about the ec2 instance uh, server ec2 instance we had only attached 8 gb so what we have done i'll just summarize quickly so this is this lecture is all about how to take backup of ebs volume and restore it with the increased size of ebs volume so first step is to take the snapshot of the server second step is to create ebs volume out of the snapshot that we have taken in the first step third step is to stop the backup server and detach the ebs volume that is default attached by default you have an ebs volume attached we call that as root volume first you need to detach it so why did we stop the instance just because it is a root volume you cannot detach it without stopping it all right the step four is to attach the new ebs volume that we had created in the step two to the backup server and last step is to start the backup server right so this is how you take the backup of ebs volume and restore it with the increased size all right so that's it for today's video 
i hope you liked it so if you did like it please consider subscribing to the channel and share it among your friends thank you Thank <laughs> you.